We're selling a gaming PC right now, like right now, right now. Welcome to the best series on YouTube. This is Flipping PCs Until I Buy a House, episode 22. This episode is going to be packed with me building budget computers, so enjoy. We're starting off with a sale, which is always awesome. This is a computer that I listed for sale in the end of the last episode. I built it for $289. It has a fourth gen i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM and a GTX 1070. This was a simple case swap flip. The original PC was purchased on my Facebook marketplace and I made a dedicated video for that. I listed it two days ago for $435 and what do you know, two days later, we're selling it. I was nervous to build in a pink case. I honestly didn't know if it would sell very well, but it did and we actually had another person interested in it. And it seems like they might be a future buyer. I got the cash, we received $440 the guy only had 20s. That gives us a nice profit of $148. Amazing start to the episode. Smash that like and spam W start in the comments. On top of selling that PC, the guy also gave me his old computer completely for free. He mentioned his old computer had died and I just told him to bring it with him and he said he would just give it to me. It is an old machine for sure, but I think it will be fun to tinker with and fix it up in another video. But for now, we're going to work on this PC from episode 21. It originally cost me $70, but I took out the GPU and subtracted $25 from the cost. So now it has a CPU, motherboard, RAM, and this 430 watt power supply. I'll be using the Corsair power supply for a more appropriate budget build and I'm valuing it at $15. So the cost for this whole motherboard combo is only $30, which is absolutely absurd. It has an i5-8400, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, and Asus Prime B360M A motherboard. I'm going to be pairing it with this Red Devil RX 580 eight gigabyte version. This card has a really beefy cooler and I love the red and black colorway. I'm going to be matching that with some nice red and black cable extensions. Ooh, this build is going to look so sick. That's the plan is for the computer to look sick, but not everything is going according to plan. So I hope it turns out pretty cool. I was going to pair it with this deep cool matrix case, but no, Newegg is stupid. This shit has me pressed. This is always happening. A case will say ARGB, and then you get it, and it's some damn Molex connectors. And of course, it's past the return date. Oh well, this will make a great pairing with the 430 watt power supply for a nice budget build. I guess I will use this case, the Cooler Master MB311L ARGB. I paid $44 for this. I bought about six of these a long time ago, and this is my last one. At least these fans are actually addressable. It only comes with two in the front, so I'm adding an additional fan in the back for an extra $6. build is done and I was right. This thing turned out so sick. I ended up testing a fair amount of games on it, but I was pretty happy with the PC. So I decided to make a whole video just for this computer. You should definitely watch that after this one. The exact cost for the build was $240 and 11 cents. eBay's price for this computer was $392. So I added a little bit to their price and decided to list it at 450. I'm not sure how well it will sell. I mean, it does look pretty sick, but it is an AMD card, and in my experience from flipping computers, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, it'll sell better than an AMD GPU. But oh well, it's already listed, I already built it, I already tested it, so now we can build this budget gaming PC that I was talking about earlier. You know for our case, we're using that deep cool case that's totally ARGB, so sick. It supports micro ATX motherboards, so that's what we're gonna use. One of these ones. Not this one, or those two, or those three. But this one. This is a B85 motherboard, supports fourth gen Intel, and in the socket, there's an i7-4790. It needs some RAM though. I'll just grab two sticks from here. So since it's fourth gen Intel, we're obviously using DDR3. This is a two by eight gigabyte kit, 
of XPG RAM and I'm pretty sure it's 1600 megahertz. Yep, 1600 with the timing of nine, which is pretty good. And since this is a budget build to keep costs down, we're just going with a basic Intel stock cooler, but this one's a little bit better because it has a copper slug and it should prevent this i7 from overheating. Sometimes I hate trying to install stock coolers, especially when I have one hand. Cooler installed, it's on there pretty secure. And for cable management, I just routed the cable right there. Nothing too fancy, but hey, it's a cheap budget build. Now with a little bit of magic, we'll install the motherboard. But you can't forget the IO shield. It's one of these. Can I install the IO shield with one hand? I can't. Bam Shazam, motherboard installed. Now for the power supply. It's that Corsair CX430 watt, and it was only $15, but it only has one single PCIe plug. And I originally was gonna pair the i7 with this GTX 970, but this one requires two six pins, which kind of sucks. So instead, I'm pairing it with this RX480 eight gigabyte version, which only requires one eight pin. This should be a really nice pairing for some budget 1080p gaming. And if you're wondering if I cleaned this graphics card, yes, yes I did. I just did it off camera. And surprisingly, the thermal paste on this RX 480 was like brand new. It wasn't crusty at all. So that had me surprised. And to tie this whole build together, I'm going to be using a single cable extension. I have a lot left over from previous packs. I'll go with this white one. I could have went with a whole pack of cable extensions for the 24 pin, the CPU and the GPU. But hey, this is a budget build and sometimes you don't need a full pack. The single one will do just fine. And the last thing to make it a functioning PC, we're gonna need an SSD, so we're gonna use this 512 gigabyte one. The PC is done, but does it work though? Okay, the fans spin. Wow, that RGB actually looks pretty nice. It's too bad it's not addressable. But yeah, that looks really clean. And look what I said, that white little cable extension helped a lot. Oh, and it looks like we got a post. Should load into the Windows downloader. Hopefully, I know I have my USB stick installed. But anyways, the total cost of the build is pretty good. It's up on the screen right now, but I'm going to install Windows, test a few games on it, and then we'll get this thing listed. I tested Fortnite at 1080p with medium settings, and I was surprised. It averaged 71 FPS with 1% low of 11. Yes, the average is good, but the 1% low is pretty terrible. But the actual gameplay was pretty smooth. Jumping out and flying towards the ground, it didn't jump around all too much. Normally it will have to render in everything and it's just a huge stuttery mess. Even though the PC was performing good, I wasn't, I died like a bot. I then tried to test Apex, but it kept having connection issues and I had the same issue with Overwatch. I don't know why I was having that problem, my ethernet was connected and I wasn't having any other issues. So I wrapped up the benchmarks with Cyberpunk at 1080p with high settings and it actually was playable, at least with the in-game benchmark. I really need to actually play this game when I benchmark it. After testing, I got it listed for sale. eBay's price is around $300, so I decided to list for $375 and that gives us an estimated profit of $157. Not a bad little profit. Okay, some time has passed and these PCs are getting on my nerves. I've only gotten a total of two messages and both of the computers have been listed for over a week. The i7 and RX 480 PC is the one with two messages. Clearly nothing really happened with the messages though. The post has 123 views and six saves. The i5-8400 and RX 580 computer, it has zero messages, five saves, in 95 views. Today is September 18th. I'm deleting both of the ads, dropping the prices and relisting them. I relisted the i7 PC for 290, which still leaves me room for an estimated profit of $73. And I listed the i5 PC for $390 which still gives me an estimated profit of 150. They aren't the craziest profits, but hey, I gotta sell them. Funny enough, I've already gotten messages on both the computers. The first message was for the i5 PC, and the guy immediately lowballed by 90 bucks, so I just told him, hey, I have another computer for that same price. Haven't heard anything from him. Then I got a message on the i7 computer, and they seem like an actual buyer, for now at least. They messaged me and said the basic stuff like, is it still available? And of course I just said, yeah, it's available because 
Of course it's available. They followed up with What monitor would work best with it to maximize gameplay? I never had a PC before. I replied and I said I recommend a 1080p monitor with at least 75 hertz. Then they said Would it support COD MW2 Remastered or 3 and how would I go about maximizing storage capacity? I just stated that it would run those games but that I have another PC that would run them better and I mentioned I can always upgrade the storage for extra if that's something they wanted to do. Then they replied and said This one might be fine for my first, I feel. Add if I needed to upgrade, I could just wait until you made a better one. They are also in the same city so hopefully we meet up. Fingers crossed. But you guys will have to wait until episode 23 to find out what happens. So subscribe to the channel, turn on bell notifications so you don't miss out. But hey, if you made it this far, mwah. But also comment, I made it this far, and I'll give you a cookie in the comment section. But hey, that's all I have for you guys. Smash the like button if you did enjoy the video, share it with a friend, and watch this video next. I'll see you over there. Peace.